Heading into the pool, the LSU swimming and diving team swept away the competition at this weekend's LSU Invitational. Sports Showtime's Hunter Hall was at the natatorium and has more on the dominating performance. LSU Swimming and Diving held their last home meet of the 2008-2009 season this past weekend as both the men and women hosted the University of New Orleans while the women also took on Rice and the University of Houston. On day one of the meet, senior Julius Glockner led the Tigers by winning the 100-yard butterfly and the 200-yard individual medley, while the Lady Tigers' 400-yard freestyle relay team broke the natatorium record with a blistering time of 3 minutes and 24.24 seconds. Also setting a personal and team best time was senior Lauren Simons, who shattered her 1,000-yard freestyle record by nearly 20 seconds. On day two, Coach Adam Schmidt was focused on getting ready for the SEC championships, seeing what pairings would work best for certain races. Well, what we're doing right now is um, there's some people on the team that are, are going for some swims to try to get on the SEC squad. So this is kind of like their tryout, last well, chance type of meet. For diving, senior Nico Dahlman managed to outduel teammate Matt Veek on the three-meter diving board as Dahlman outscored Veek 366.5 to 350.5. Rounding out the final day, senior Julius Glockner took another win in the 200-yard butterfly with a time of 1 minute 49.88 seconds as freshman Morgan McGee took the 200 backstroke and sophomore Lauren Grandy swam a season best in the 500-yard freestyle. The SEC Championships are set to begin February 18th and run through the 20th in Auburn, Alabama. Looking for a top five finish in the SECs and a top 15 finish in the NCAA Championships, the Tigers are peaking at just the right time as the regular season comes to a close and the toughest road lies ahead. This is Hunter Hall reporting for Tiger TV. Next up, Adam Schmidt will take his Tigers on the road in pursuit of an SEC title. Over the weekend, the men's tennis team took to the court twice in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The first was a victory over 20th ranked Texas Tech. The Tigers' Michael Venus lived up to his number two ranking, winning a singles match in three sets. In doubles, Venus and his partner Neil Skumsky upset Texas Tech's seventh ranked doubles team 8 to 4. But Sunday did not go as well for LSU as they fell to the 12th ranked University of Tulsa 4 to 2. Michael Venus was upset early in straight sets by the 10th ranked Bruges from Tulsa. The team will return to Baton Rouge this weekend for their first home match of the season against Rice. The LSU women's tennis team had to travel a little farther this past weekend than the men's team did, but the overall results were similar. On the first day of play, the 24th ranked Lady Tigers defeated DePaul 4-1. Fifth ranked Megan Falcon of LSU extended her win streak to seven with her victory. Falcon was also successful in doubles with her partner Mikala Hedberg, winning over the DePaul duel 8-2. However, on Sunday, LSU was not quite as lucky. The Lady Tigers ventured to Los Angeles, California to face the third ranked Bruins of UCLA. The only victory on the evening for LSU came when freshman Whitney Wolf defeated the 63rd ranked Maya Johansson 6-3 and 6-4 to clinch a win in a singles play. The Lady Tigers will be back in action Friday in their home opener against 73rd ranked and undefeated SMU at 3 p.m. Saturday track fans got a little taste of what the NCAA championships will look like next month at Texas A&M. Walter Henning recorded the fifth best throw in the world this year, breaking his own school record with a 73 feet 4 and 3 fourths inch bomb. Trendon Holiday followed Henning's NCAA topping performance with one of his own. Taking the number three spot in the world, Holiday won the 60 meter title running a 6.56. Along with Holiday, four Lady Tigers qualified for the NCAA championships. LSU is on the road again this weekend in New York for the annual New Balance Collegiate Invitational. Now from the fast guys on the track to the slow guys at the wreck, it's time to take a look at all the intramural action from last night. Starting off with a frat battle at 7 o'clock, let's take you to the highlights. We've got Sigma Nu here taking on Acacia Neo with a nice little layup. And they're going to do it again. It almost looks like a replay, this little hook shot from right outside the lane. But Acacia Neo looks to fight back, going into the paint with a layup. And again, they're going to come down the court, taking it inside with the foul. He's going to make it falling down. But Acacia Neo would still fall to Sigma Nu 40 to 32. All right, our second game of the night is the N1 Street Dream versus the Predators. N1 starts out early with the dish down inside for two. The Predators come back not to be outdone, knock down the three. I know it was a tough shot because it was really, really windy outside there on those tennis courts. But N1 comes back, misses the layup, but don't worry, he got security. His big man follows for the two points. The N1 Street Dream is going to win 52, Predators 37. Other scores on the night included the destruction of BYX by the smooth operator 66 to 19, and Pi Kappa Phi B defeated Acacia B 38 to 13. 
Meanwhile, Sigma Nu laid the hammer down on SIGEP Team A 52 to 12. And Sports Showtime's own basketball team, Preparation H, fell in the game's final two minutes by a score of 40 to 32. Over at the U High Gym, the De Freshman squad lit it up, dropping 90 on Team Blitzkrieg. Southern Hop Hospitality proved to be too much for the Shockers, winning 54 to 42. And the Blue Team A pulled a narrow win over the Cheese, 58 to 53. Later on in Sports Showtime, we'll have all the latest news on the gymnastics team straight from Coach Didi Bro herself. Plus more of Russell Shepard's first few days in Baton Rouge. We'll have a look at the top recruit on the field. And LSU Athletes of the Week. Who stepped up big for the Tigers? Stay tuned to find out. This is Sports Showtime on Tiger TV.